Welcome back. In this session, we will discuss cutting conditions in drilling. The cutting speed in a drilling operation is the surface speed at the outside diameter of the drill. It is the distance that a point on the circumference of a drill will travel in one minute. So you might recall from our discussion on turning that in turning, the spindle RPM was transferred to, to the workpiece. In the case of drilling, the spindle RPM is transferred to the twist drill. So the cutting speed is defined with respect to the distance uh, that a point moves uh, on the circumference of a drill in one minute. So the formula to calculate RPM in the case of drilling is the same as it was in the case of turning. The only difference is that this D is actually the, the diameter of the twist drill. In the case of turning, this D was the diameter of the blank or the work. Now the feed in drilling is specified in millimeters per revolution or inches per revolution. It is the linear distance the drill moves for every revolution. So you might have noticed that in the case of drilling, both cutting speed and feed are defined with respect to the twist drill. So that is important to be kept in mind. In the case of turning, the cutting speed was with respect to the blank being turned and the feed was defined with respect to the a linear travel of the cutting tool. Now this feed can be converted to feed rate using the same equation as for turning. And that is feed rate is equal to RPM into feed. So this feed rate is actually the uh, linear distance that drill moves every minute. Or in other words, it is the uh, speed of the, of the drill in the linear direction. Speed is the millimeters per revolution or inches per revolution, the linear distance that the drill moves for every revolution of the drill itself. And N is the rotational speed or revolutions per minute of the spindle and hence the drill. So you could see that everything is defined with respect to the twist drill. The cutting speed, the feed, the feed rate, the RPM, everything relates to the twist drill. So we can find tables like this, as we saw in the case of turning to, uh, to know the recommended feed and speed for a certain cutter workpiece material combination. So this is the table taken from Machinery's Handbook 30th edition for feed and speeds for drilling, reaming and threading, plain carbon and alloy steels. In the first column, we have the material and then we, we are having uh, recommended feed and speed uh, using high speed steel drill bit for, for drilling operation. So optimum feed in this case, for example, is 21, the average is 11, and the speed is 55, uh, optimum speed is 55 and average is one to five. And just as a recall, this feed is in thousands of an inch, so 21 means it is 0 0.021 inches per revolution or 11 means it is 0 0.0 double one inches per revolution. And the speed is in feet per minute. So it is 55 feet per minute or 125 feet per minute. And you could see similar values for reaming and threading using high speed steel uh, uh, cutting tool. So let's solve an example. So a drill press is used to drill four holes into a block of 50, a grade 55 cast iron. That is a gray cast iron. The drill bit uh, is 0 0.750 inches in diameter and is made from high speed steel. Calculate the RPM of the uh, drill bit. So what we are given is this diameter of the drill bit that is 0 0.750. Then we have to find the recommended cutting speed. So that is, uh, using high speed twist drill, having a value of 50 feet per minute uh, for, for drilling. So we can look up the table and then N is equal to 12V over pi D and D is the diameter of the twist drill. So recommended RPM is 255. And depending upon the setting on our machine, we can uh, select the closest value to 255. Uh, then we, we have to see the formula to calculate the machining time in the case of drilling. So drilled holes are either through holes or blind holes. In through hole, the drill exits the opposite side of the work. In blind holes, it does not. 
So the formula to calculate machining time is the same as in the case of turning. So it is the length of the cut over feed rate. And in the case of drilling, the length of cut is actually uh, the distance the drill moves into the workpiece. So for the case of through holes, it is the thickness. of Plus A is added. So A in this case is approach allowance. So we will see what that is. So that is the total distance that the drill moves into the workpiece divided by feed rate and feed rate is equal to feed into uh, RPM. So that is uh, distance per minute. So what this uh, approach allows is, so let's suppose we are uh, drilling a hole using a drill bit of diameter D. So this is the A the approach along. So that is the distance required for the drill to penetrate into the workpiece to its uh, complete dia D. So this distance A is actually uh, to be calculated. So we can form a right angle triangle. So this is A, this, uh, this is uh, D by two, half the diameter. And this point angle is theta, so half of this angle, this one will be theta by two. So this angle will also be theta by two. So let me draw this uh, uh, triangle again. So we are having this A, uh, approach allowance, half of the diameter d by two. This is the 90 degree angle. And this is half of the theta. So this is theta by two. So some of these two angles, uh, this one and this one should be 90. So this angle will be 90 minus theta by two. So using the tangent function, tangent of 90 minus theta by two will be equal to perpendicular over base. So this A will be equal to D by two into tangent 90 minus theta by two. So here it is. Generally, uh, the commonly used twist drills have this point angle of 118 degrees. So this theta by two will be 59 degrees. So let's solve an example. A 1.250 inch high speed steel drill is used to drill a hole in a grade 55 cast iron plate four inches thick. The feed to be used is 0 0.015 inches per revolution. Calculate the time required to drill this uh, through hole. Assume an over travel of 0.125 inches at each end of the cut. So what we are given is the diameter of the drill. The cutting speed is uh, looked up from the table. This feed can be looked up from the table or it is given here as well. L is the length of the cut. In this case, the thickness of the workpiece because it is a through hole and O is the over trim. So the RPM is calculated using the same formula. So it is 153. The approach is 0.5D into tangent of 90 minus theta by two, as we saw on the previous slide. So D here is 1.25. So we assume the theta to be 118 degrees. So theta by two will be equal to 59 degrees. So this, uh, a is now 0.5 into D into tangent 90 minus theta by two. So that is 59. So approach allowance appears to be 0.375 inches. And the time to drill one hole is a length of cut over feed rate. So that is a thickness plus approach allowance and feed rate is equal to feed into RPM. And this two into uh, over travel because over travel of 0.125 inches at each end of the cut at the beginning of the, cut, uh, beginning of the cut as well as at the end of the cut. So that is two into 0 0.125. So again, for the thickness of the plate, the approach allowance and over travel at both ends. So that is the numerator divided by feed into RPM. So the theoretical machining time for this operation turns out to be two minutes. In the case of blind hole, the formula is the same except for this length of cut is equal to the depth of the hole. So whatever is the depth of the hole uh, that we are making, that is actually the length of the cut plus uh, this A, that was the 
approach along. So in the case of through hole, this length of the cut was equal to the thickness of the of the workpiece. In this case, it is equal to the depth uh, hole that we are making. And finally, the material removal rate is equal to pi by four d square into feed rate, and d is the diameter of the twist drill. And uh, um, the f sub six r is the feed rate. So, in the case of previous example, the material removal rate will be equal to pi by four into d square, that is the diameter of the twist drill, into feed rate. So, feed rate was equal to feed into RPM. So, feed was 0 0.0. 1.5 inches per revolution into calculated RPM was 153. So approximately it is 2.82 inches cube per minute. So that is the volume of the material that we are removing uh, every minute. Thank you very much.